Hey everybody, my name is Zainab Anike, or you can call me Zay if this is your first time to my channel. Welcome, and if you are a returning member, welcome back. If you are looking for birth control, knowing more information about the implant and people's experiences, stay tuned because I'll be telling my experiences and concerns so far with my first three week update. Okay, so like I said before, this is my first three week update of me having the implant in my arm and we'll be getting into it straight like this. What is it? The implant is called Nexplanon. I have the paper here. I'm going to be reading it verbatim. Nexplanon did not sponsor this video. I'm just stating my experiences. So it's a hormone releasing birth control implant for use by women to prevent pregnancy for up to three years. The implant is a flex rod flexible plastic rod about the size of a matchstick that contains a progestin hormone called entonogestrel. It contains small amount of barium sulfate so that the implant can be seen by x-ray and may also contain magnesium stearate. Um, yeah. So, I had it inserted. If you want to know the initial process of me getting the implant in my arm, go to my last video and I talk all about that. But as far as this video, we're going straight into how these last three weeks have been on this match thing. Now that we've read what the next one on is, you're probably asking, what are the side effects? The side effects include, and it says here, besides changes in menstrual bleeding patterns, other frequent side effects that cause women to stop using the implant include mood swings, headaches, weight gain, acne, and depressed mood. And then some other common side effects include headache, vaginitis, vaginitis, I think that's how you say it, weight gain, acne, breast pain, viral infections such as throat, sore throats and flu-like symptoms, stomach pain, painful periods, mood swings, nervousness or depressed mood, back pain, nausea, dizziness, pain, and pain at the site of insertion. Um, so with that being said, let's go into what side effects I have been experiencing since I had the implant put in. Had the implant put in August 3rd, I was cool dealing with like the hurting part of it for a while. I'd say it was hurting for about two weeks. Took a week for the bandage to, for me to take the bandage off. I didn't take it off until after a week because I was being very skeptical and scared about it. But my friend was saying I was doing too much. And then, then it took a week for the little stickies around the insertion site to fall off. And then by that time, this is when I felt like the mood swings was kicking in as one of the side effects. That was one of the side effects I was experiencing, very much mood swings. I felt like all my friends was getting it from all angles. And I didn't know what was bothering me was, I didn't know if that was me battling mental health issues or the side effects of this next plan on it. I didn't know. It was really weird and it just put me in a really dark place. And I definitely felt like I was feeling depressed. And I felt like I was feeling depressed for like, it was no more than a week. But when you're depressed, it feels like forever. So it felt like a month, but it was about a week. And um, I mean, maybe it wasn't depression. I just felt really down. I didn't get out of my bed much. I was just to myself in my room, didn't really talk to nobody, didn't call nobody. Like until one day I just broke down. And once I broke down, I just felt like if you were in a depressive state prior to being on the implant, it's a chance that this could be enhanced because it's more hormones, stuff that I wasn't really putting into consideration when I got this. The only thing I was worried about when I was getting this is less period, more sex, more weight. That's what I wanted. And you know, those things can be good, but is it worth it at the extent of these side effects? I don't know yet. It's only been three weeks and they say that to give it its best shot, you should try to wear it for at least three months. I don't know if I will be going that long and feeling that bad, but I'm willing to give it a chance because that was a while ago. I think that was about a week or two ago, and now I just feel, you know, I feel good. I feel like if you are going to wear it and you feel like you have a depressive, you know, state before putting it in, definitely just 
try to be more aware like me i just try not to think about the sad if i'm sitting i try to think about something else to do because even when i was feeling sad and mood swinging i was like neglective to everything that i was supposed to be doing like oh why aren't you pushing you know just regular shit i should be doing you know where's your songwriting work you know maybe you should do a freestyle or why aren't you putting out more videos like you're an editor you're a songwriter you're an artist there should be a million things you're doing you're a major, you're an electrical engineering major at an HBCU. There should be m multiple things you could be working on. And the only thing I was worried about was something so minuscule and something that didn't really matter as far as what I wanted to achieve as a person in life. I just was letting the little shit get to me and that's what you can't do. And my PMS, I feel like it's gotten worse. Another mood swing I was getting was headaches, and I still get headaches. I was getting headaches before, but I feel like I can easily get a headache now, and the only thing to shake it is going to sleep, and it can come so easily. Like, right now I have on this scarf, and I'm wearing a, um, a wig cap under it because my hair is so thick. Like, if I just threw it on with the scarf, it would look crazy. The shape would be weird. But, like, I was wearing two to really keep my head flat, but my head started hurting immediately, like immediately and I could not so I had to take it off I took it off I took one off and now I'm better but it's like you know I feel like a headache will come on if I try to wear this for more than 40 minutes longer than I need to you know so those things I have to keep watching out for I will have to go to sleep to stop my headaches like yesterday I got a headache because I was waiting too long to eat and then while I was eating it just took forever like it was to the point where all I could do was literally turn over and close my eyes and go to sleep and when I woke up I feel so much better but it was the next day like you know how much hours I lost in between that because I had a headache from the side effect of birth control that's what I don't like but I just try to stay hydrated I drink a lot more water than I used to and I just try to eat I try to eat every two hours but that's me doing other shit too like I'm starting a weight gain journey if you want to hear more about that as well please let me know and i will most definitely give my critiques and stuff on that shout out to trey so then after the mood swings and things like that after all after i was pretty much going through most of the um side effects that i thought i would be experiencing but didn't know i was going to be experiencing it in that such manner my period started it started on August 17th and it ended August 29th. It was the longest 13 days of my life, but I was really happy when it ended. And it just, it, I could tell. I could tell when it was starting. I could tell when it was ending. Usually my first days of really heavy, really heavy flows, cramping in the bed, which happened, which very much did happen. But it happened at a different time, which threw me off. It started off real smooth. Aunt, Aunt Sally came creeping through the front door. She gently put her stuff down. She was like, I'm going to stay a while. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. You know, thanks for letting me know this time. I appreciate it. And then she was getting comfortable, honey. Then my, my, I was going through the, the regular motions I was going through. If I had a regular period, like my stomach was cramping so bad. I was using a hidden heating pad at one point. I was using it to stay warm because it's super cold in my apartment sometimes. But as the days progressed with me using it to stay warm, it turned into me using it because I had cramps. And I was like, where, where the fuck these cramps come from? I don't like this. And then my back, like I get so much back pain. And I was getting back, like I have been developing back pain as a, um, a PMS for my period prior to me getting the implant but it was never this bad like my back be killing me sometimes and it's like sometimes I just like well can I get the boobs that come with the back pain at least because it's one thing to have back pain but to have back pain you don't even got no reason why like let's not <laughs> it's embarrassing <laughs> okay so but Besides that, I mean, I feel like it hasn't been anything super unbearable. I definitely feel like the period I experienced with the implant was a lot less worse than what I experienced with Mother Nature. Because it was still very, it was still like on a scale of 1 to 10, 
10 being my period without the implant with the implant my period was definitely a smooth five or six and i'm i know i said that about the last time i did a one to ten but that's really how i feel like it was really in the middle like it wasn't hella pain but i'm not gonna sit there and act like it wasn't painful so it is what it is but thank god it's over and now i feel like i can experience the fun part about wearing this implant okay and that's what i'm trying to figure out that's the tea i'm trying to get for y'all okay so three weeks i'm gonna give you that tea all right i'm gonna give you that tea and that's on period i feel like those are the only side effects that i've been experiencing so far and just to recap it's been headaches but more intense pms mood swings but i feel like those can be controllable because i won't let little things get to me and if i focus on the things i should be focusing on like being remotely online my senior year electrical engineering major songwriting promoting stuff being an artist um editing videos it's gonna be a lot but i feel like if i focus on other things i won't have time to be sad and depressed and that's the reality of it if you really feel like sometimes you can't shake it you need to be focusing on other things that won't make you think about it because the only time i feel like i get into those spaces is when i really think about it and that's all i'm thinking about and then being in my little box of a room at my off-campus housing it can really really feel like you're alone you have nobody and nobody gives a shit but that's not the case it doesn't have to be the case and it don't have to be it don't have to be the case if nobody don't give a shit at least you can give a shit at least you should give a shit about you and that's why i had to do you know whether or not i felt like people gave a shit about me i had to give a shit about me you know because who the fuck else will thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed thumbs up if it was very informative about next plan on the side effects and my experiences if they don't align with you please don't let that discourage you or don't let that um persuade you to get it you know you're just supposed to take these round them out and figure out what works best for you and i hope i can help do that by sharing my experiences Follow me on all my social media platforms. Please keep up with me and be on the lookout for be on the lookout for my two new singles, Beverly Hills and Show It, on all platforms very very soon. Okay, and I just want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you again in three weeks. Okay, Mwah. love you. Such as birth control enough, the options for a black woman as far as birth control.